Today's video was sponsored by Easy Skins, manufacturer of the world's widest collection of skins for hundreds of different devices and the only smartphone accessory maker to ever win the Queen's Award for Enterprise, an award that was personally approved by Her Majesty the Queen herself this year. Easy Skins have developed a huge range of skins for your smartphone, laptop, tablet, gaming consoles and they have a massive selection of designs that can be easily applied yourself to totally customise the look of your device. There are literally so many options to choose from, they even have colours and designs aimed at the automotive sector so you can brand up your devices to match the color of your car here's an example of the easy skins metallic gray carbon i've applied to my p30 pro just by following their simple install videos and here's my same phone in their red carbon everything's made right here in the uk so you know the quality is on point and they also ship worldwide easy skins are right in the middle of their black friday promotion so you can currently get up to 60 percent off through their website and there's a chance to win a macbook air ipad or ipad mini they've also got an ongoing saving on the llf card for our members too so just head over to easyskins.com via the link in the description below and customize your device today manlight anthony <laughs> You saying, right. bro? How's it going? You good, yeah? Yeah, not bad, yourself. Thank you so much for coming down today. No problem. Uh, in this little beast as well. Aye, not bad, not bad. I mean, one by six. Yeah, so what? Five hundred and four horsepower. Yeah, five hundred and four brick. How on earth have you got that kind of horsepower of a Vauxhall Corsa, man? Uh, fully built engine by Giz Motorsport. Okay. Full Super Tech valve train, cat cams, custom grind by R and D. Right. Full bottom end forged, air tech cooler, exhaust system. And a thousand cc injectors. So is this like the most powerful VXR Corsa out there, or is there more? At the moment, road legal, it is. I think the fastest yeah. on the road at the moment. There are a few uh, looming, which will be more. Yeah. But so five oh four, yeah. and how much torque? Three hundred seventy five foot pounds. And what does it weigh? I had a weight at eleven eighty. Eleven eighty. But I still got standard seats in. Okay. And standard plastics in the back. You would never ever know that that's got 504 horsepower, <laughs> man. How old are you? Uh, 26. 26? Yeah. Okay. Vauxhall guy? No, my first one actually. First one, yeah? Yeah. And yeah. my last one, definitely. So, has it got standalone ECU? You no, know, you say it's no, got stock ECU. Stock ECU. So just uh, mapped by RND Motorsport up okay. in York. So, there's no limiting, it's just full no, whack? Full whack. Yeah. 8,700 uh, 8, RPM. 80, guys. My jaw dropped when he said that. 8,700 <laughs> RPM. So this is like Porsche GT3 RPM. Does it scream like? <laughs> yeah. Does it got screaming pipe? No. Okay. I want to take it on a track eventually, but that's why I'm gonna scream. Okay, man, you get a screaming pipe. It's be like times two the speed. Like right? <laughs> interior stock. So these are the same seats as what I put in my M4. Is it? Uh, Recaro CS. Yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. I had a few people saying to me why have I put Corsa seats in. Air tech cooler. Hmm. Um, two slimline fans, front, because it does get a bit hot with the tube blowing in front. Yeah. But. And it's mapped on 99? Yeah, V Power 99, yeah. No meth or anything? No meth yet. Not yet? No. no. Coming soon? Yeah, possibly. What, what's that for, just cooling or for more power? Cooling, possibly more power, but then again, I probably need a bigger turbo again. Sorry, did you mention the turbo? It was a Garrett, you said, didn't yeah, you? Yeah, Garrett GTX 2867R. And uh, what RPM does it kick in power? 4K, 3.5, 4K. Okay. It is a bit it laggy. 87. Obviously, front wheel drive. No Unfortunately, LSD or? Yeah, standard Drexler LSD. That came the, with the car, yeah? Yeah, it comes in the club sports and the uh, Nürburgring edition VXRs. Okay. Is it any good? Like, have you planned to upgrade it's it? It's all right. I, I am planning to upgrade it. Mm -hmm. I don't know what yet. Probably a wave track. Yeah. But for now, you... first second is pretty useless. Yeah. Well, the Vauxhalls, they, they, they're known to do a bit of understeering, aren't they? Oh, yes. Especially <laughs> with <this> one. <laughs> I don't know about the courses, but I'll be honest, growing up, I used to love these, man. I wanted one badly. Yeah. Any handling mods? Uh, Breaking? ST coilovers by KW. Okay. Full poly bushed front and rear. Few braces on it. Mm. One in the back. Yeah. One underneath. So what would you say? It's just a, a hot rod, drag racer, like handling car? Like, what would you class it as? A straight line warrior, probably. <laughs> <laughs> straight line warrior. <laughs> yeah, you've got the team dynamics as well. Yeah. And uh, you're running a Michelin Pilot Sport Force. Yeah, all round. Did you uh, have those tyres on when you already had the mods? Uh, switch over the to recent them? they are. Recent. I was Uni Royals when I was 435 okay. Brickles, but they were pretty useless. I mm -hmm. tried these, they're not so good either, to be honest. No? Too much no. power? It's too much It'd power. Maybe semi slick snacks, like R Triple Eight R's or something. Yeah. And uh, what are the size of the wheels? 18s or? 18s, yeah. 18s. And I might even change the wheels to 17s. Yeah. Exhaust? Uh, full 3 inch, all the way through to 4 inch tips. 
Yeah. From Decat. Uh, cool run. Yeah. Full decat. All right, should we jump out? Yeah, let's yeah, go. Let's do it, man. Let's go. Last time I heard a car start up like this, it was the Evo 6. I did the black one, I don't know if you remember, it was a yeah. 600 horsepower one. But it was just chuggering away, just like this. That's the sign of a, yeah, a very built engine, isn't it? Man, you hear that turbo whistling as well? So you say power kicks in around 4,000 RPM? Yeah, around three and a half, four. Jeez, and revs to 8,700. Guys, we've just caught a bit of light. It's gonna be dark in like about 15 minutes. The drive-bys are gonna probably be dark. So that's why I'm considering doing these night videos. So uh, yeah, I think I've just managed to pull this one off, really. So how long has it been built, Anthony? Three, four weeks. Has it been back for any reason? No, not yet. Not, not yet? Not. So the mapping's all fine. You haven't felt like Yeah, anything? it's just a cold start issue, really, due to the fact the cams are too big, apart from my snow shoes. So is this car good for more power or is it on its limit like power wise or? Turbo is supposedly good for 550 mm -hmm. but obviously the engine should be around 5 600 probably max. <laughs>
boat like it's one of them ones where you'll be cornering and you'll accidentally knock yourself offline clutch has got some real spring action hasn't it it's telling me shift 3000 now mate this goes to 80 <laughs> <laughs> i'm not accelerating whilst this car's coming towards me no way <laughs> we'll go smooth into it
acceleration, but the savagery of that acceleration is the equivalent of like those Evos that have been out here, man. The Evo 6s definitely feels like the, uh, you know, power to weight, it's got to be very similar. Feels like it's folding in on itself. It is a cool. 